The basic adjustment of the LRD2100 begins when it first comes out of the box and is installed on a machine. At that point you need to adjust the zero with the zero adjustment. Now this can be done with nothing in the sensor or you can peel off a label and advance it so that it's liner only in the sensor. We're going to turn the gain to maximum. It's a four turn adjustment so we're just going to turn it clockwise at least four times so we know it's at its maximum. Then we're going to turn the zero adjust until that zero light just starts to come on. Doesn't matter whether it's on or off, but you're right at that transition point where it's going between the two. Once you've done that, you don't ever have to adjust that zero adjustment again unless you put it on a different machine. For that reason, we ship these black dots with the sensors, and you could peel one of those off, place it over the zero adjust so everyone knows they don't have to adjust that anymore. After you've made the zero adjust, you turn the gain two turns counterclockwise to get it to its center position. Then install your web, make sure it's tight against the back plate, make sure it's in the sensor area, and you shouldn't have to do anything else on any ordinary label, and this will work fine. You can see the output flash at every gap. Now if the label has any metallic materials or high carbon inks, the LRD2100 will not work reliably with that and you'll need to use an LRD6110 or an LRD8200 instead.